Thank you very much. My name is Swasha Nolualeke from SMS Online Film School. You are welcome once again to our online training. Uh, this is another edition of our training. I hope you enjoyed the last uh, uh, lecture that we brought to you on uh, the introduction of uh, film editing and the uh, editing software uh, workspace. Uh, uh, we, you are welcome to another edition where you'll be learning something different this time around. We want to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also invite more people to subscribe to the channel. You can also like our Facebook page at SM Studio 22. Uh, so that you can follow us well. Uh, then, in the course of this uh, training, I want you to pay uh, you know, rapt attention as you watch this uh, tutorial video and drop all your questions that you might have in the comment button or you can uh, as well join us on our training platform uh, both on Facebook, on WhatsApp and some other platforms so that you can ask uh, your question there. So, so that we can, you know, we can be sure we will actually answer you. So once again, you're welcome to this edition. So can we go to the class now? All right, good morning. Today, uh, you're welcome back to SMS Online Film School, uh, you know, and uh, properly to the editing class where you know uh, you will be meeting me again this time around uh, uh, to learn another fantastic uh, topic in film editing i hope you enjoyed the last class that uh, uh, we did where we did the introduction of uh, editing and the editing software so but today we'll be moving on to something different my name is fashanu oluwaleke i'm still your facilitator from uh, sms online film school uh yes let's go to what we have today what do we have today we want to talk about a uh, uh, introduction or learning some uh, adobe premiere tools and creating projects learning adobe premiere tool and creating projects in today's training i will be uh introducing to us some of the tools that are on adobe premiere uh, that you can use to work and that how you can also create a project when you want to do uh, your own editing too so how you can create a project in adobe premiere so i'll be taking you through that process uh, you know in a short while now now let me uh, start by reminding you Part of the things we discussed in our last class you remember if you don't forget how we talked about the introduction to the workspace of editing software of uh, adobe premiere and then uh, you know, i told you that we have several panels you no know, if you don't forget this is the program panel this is the timeline panel this is the uh, the project media panel this is the source panel and this is the tools panel if you uh, if you have not watched the last lecture, please uh, uh, check our page, our channel on YouTube uh, for introduction to editing and editing software. You will see it there. Please watch it so that you can be on the same page with us. Now, if you can recollect, you will realize that I made mention of a particular panel called the tool panel, which is this panel. Now, let me try to expand it a little bit so you can see it now. So, this is the panel just right beside your timeline panel you have your um a, a tools panel there and they are located you no know, varieties of tools you use in your editing of course you understand that these are the uh, you know, you know, like equipment that you will use you know in your editing as you are moving on so i'll be making mention of each of these tools and uh, perhaps i'll be showing you what they are doing you know uh, for you to know how to use them in your editing of course i cannot guarantee you that you'll be a master of it now because you are still, still at the beginning stage but i believe as you continue to use it you continue to get familiarized with it now the first tool here which is called the selection tool selection two the shortcut to that is v but i don't want you to bother yourself with the matter of a uh, you know the shortcut because you can customize shortcut for yourself and you can use the default shortcut but i will not be talking about that now but all i just wanted to know 
is that this tool is called the selection tool when you click on it uh, it is meant to select any object any file anything on the on the on the uh, workspace let's assume that i want to select this uh, video this file on my timeline i'll pick the selection tool to just select so once you click on it that selected that maybe you want to be click on anything here maybe on this icon now you can select it you can select it when you click on the selection tool you can see the way your your cursor looks like it turns to something like an arrow that looks like an arrow yes that is saying that uh, you are already on the selection tool so and and this tool with this tool you can select file you can you know it's practically to select practically to select and that's why they call it selection tool so maybe you want to select anything no you can you can click on it you can you know click out with the selection tool so please don't uh, uh, don't forget it's majorly to select because there are sometimes you will be you will, you will be confused maybe you are trying to select something and it is giving you another thing don't think that maybe something has gone wrong simply check the kind of tool you are using Tell the tool you are using are you on the selection tool or not so it is meant to select Maybe you want to select another thing anything you just want to click on to see you know it is that to use to select so they call it selection tool the next on the list is the track select forward tool track select forward tool you know uh, uh, and the shortcut for that is a how do you make use of the track select forward tool now let me quickly do a kind of a cutting on this uh, <coughs> And what I have on my timeline now let let us assume that's what we have on our timeline now when you want to do track select a uh, uh, track select forward tool what that tool is doing and this is the tool what that tool is doing is that let's assume that I want to select a uh, I want to say you know I have like a let's say I have like a one two three four five so yes i have like five pieces pieces of five you know a, a, a sliced a cut i have like five five, five cuts on my on my timeline let's assume that i want to select everything at once and you don't want to uh highlight like this Maybe you want to select everything at once and you don't want to highlight like this. I will show you the difference between you know the need for you to highlight and the need for you to, to make use of this tool. Now but let's assume that I want to select everything like this and I don't want to do the highlighting like this. All you need to do is to click on this selection tool, click on the first cut, which is this one. Once you click on it, there it will select everything. Now you might not get it yet. If let's assume that uh, you don't want to start, maybe the selection you want to do is not going to start with the first two, uh, the first uh, cut. Yeah, maybe you want to start from the third one to the to, no to, to the rest of the cuts that you have, you know, on the timeline. You can just you know do that. Come to your selection tool, then go to that point where you want to start the selection, which is the third cut. Then click on it. So you can see now so it will not select those ones behind it but rather it will select those ones in front of it everything to the end to the end if you have any other call any other cut in front here it will also select it so that is what why they call it say track select forward that is it selects everything in front of it if you don't want to select from there you can choose to select you know maybe from this the this file just click on it you know and place it place the two arrows on what on that point where you want to do the selection and click on it will really select everything you know in front of it so that is a track select a uh, two now and the difference between this is that let me try to do something for you now so that uh, you will understand better the difference between just highlighting and uh, you know uh, you making use of this uh, track select to let me do something for you quickly um, um, okay okay ok 
okay okay let's assume that uh, we have something like this maybe this is our cut on our food on our timeline maybe you are already editing on our timeline and uh, you need to select everything here you know this selection to only select a file when you click on that file it, it selects it but this in this case you want to select multiple cards multiple cards now and that's why we are, we are talking about this uh, selection to the track select uh, forward to you want to select multiple cards instead of you i told you you can as well highlight by clicking by holding on your right on your uh, left click holding on your left click and dragging your selection tool uh, cursor dragging your cursor on all the files that's how to select you know using this selection tool if you want to select multiple files you click outside and click and hold on a uh, old click then drag drag across the files that you want to select that's how to do that but in this case you will understand by the time you get started uh, you know begin to edit you will you will find you know your timeline so rowdy so 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 you know uh, uh, unarranged because by then you will have several cuts several tiny 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 cuts if i show you one you know if i just open up a timeline for you or uh, which i have you know used in editing a movie you will see how rowdy it is so everything will be look will look tiny such that if you are to select like this you might find it difficult to achieve maybe you want to select from a point you might find it difficult let's assume that uh, i have something like this and i want to select from this point it's not possible for me to highlight like this highlight like this and get the exact number second couple cut now let's see now if i have if i get it you can see now i've highlighted everything not knowingly not unknowingly and actually i want to stop my selection here I want to stop my selection here so but because it is tiny so there is no way i can get it you can see now i've highlighted everything but and if you do it like this you will not see the way other files that are behind there you will not see it so how can you achieve that how can you achieve that you can simply achieve that with this track select forward and how do, we, do you do that you know just like i told you click on this track then this is uh, a tool then start maybe you want to start on this a uh, cut then click on it you can see it has selected everything from that point to forward everything you can see it now so it has selected all the tracks so i don't need to expand my timeline or contract it before i i select everything so it's just a matter of you know picking these two and then uh, you know saying you know just select from me from here and it will have selected everything i have in the front so that's what they call track select you know selection two other than you making use of this uh, uh normal selection two which i'm now trying to say you want to highlight like this you know it will be very very difficult that's what i want to explain it will be very difficult so because you will understand what i'm saying as you are editing but just you know be it at the back of your mind that you can make use of that uh, selection to track select for uh, selection to when you want to let's assume that maybe i want to create space between here between this file and this file you know we have to select it and bring this one forward so and uh, i will have to select everything i will have to select everything in front of it something like this now you can see it now i want to select it so maybe i'll first of all bring this one uh, so you see now and i still want this one to join it so i will, I will now drag this one again and you see now this one no it is separated from this and we are now be trying to bring it like this trying to bring it like this uh -huh, maybe now i have done that before i will not be able to insert whatever i want to insert here let's assume that i want to insert i want to insert this yes I want to insert this here. Uh -huh. and let's assume that I want to insert this here. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. Now you can see the the longer way I have used in you no know, in doing it just because I want to I wanted to insert something in between here. I had to go all that way of you know trying to first of all you know uh, select all of this. Uh, you know first bringing it because if i say i want to select it from the point where i want i will not it's too tiny so but instead of going all of those things trying to bring this one forward you know joining this one you can you can rear you know you can uh, you know uh, destroy your your timeline all you just need is that since where i want to insert something I want to insert in between these two files then i should just take this file and everything in front of it I, I should just i will just select it so just click on these two click on it once and it has selected everything for you then select it and pick it so you understand that then easily you can pick whatever you need uh -huh. select it bring it bring it and you can see how quick i've been able to achieve that so that's uh, that's a track select uh, 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 that track uh, uh, select forward to please take note of that uh, to very well another tool that will be common to you when you are editing another tool that will be common to you when you are editing is what we call the razor tool the razor tool the razor tool and you know this is it this is the razor tool which is C razor tool and um, what's that what's the work of the razor tool is to cut is to cut to slice so let's say you you know by the time you you click on it by the time you click on it you can see that your cursor has changed to something like look like razor that has changed so place it on where you want to cut no you want to cut here and click place it here again and click place it again and click Maybe as you are watching the video, let me try to. Yes. You don't say yes. That's okay. That's why I want to cut. Then place it on the on that uh, on that green cursor uh, line and click on it. So I have already cut that video now. If you want to select that video, click on your what on your selection tool then pick that so you understand now then you can maybe you want to take it away that's it let's assume that uh, you want to do another cutting let's try to cut something again click on it again come let me quickly do something here all right now how do you click on it now let me click on it now let me try to cut something from there now let's play and see where we want to cut so let's assume that i want to cut from here just not to waste your time then you just stop it there then you come here you click on this then you click on the uh, that line where I, you know this thing has stopped this blue line has stopped click on it perfectly and and, and cut so then if you want to pick that file let's say you now want to pick this file and take it somewhere else. you will not just say you want to pick like that and click on it no to drag you must come and pick your selection to that you used to pick then you can now click on it and drag it and drag it so that is what that tool is meant to do is meant to cut primarily it's meant to cut primarily uh and that one i would like you to talk about let me leave this slip to you no know, for now and uh, even this pen to let me leave it for now those are the primary one i will oh, let me just or uh, maybe i just talk about it but i will still refer back to these tools later that's why i want to leave it for now let's say like this tool now that's what you used to do your cropping if you want to do cropping you know that's what you used to do your cropping here you can see now so that's what you do and your like your hand too your hand too maybe that's what you used to do you know to move around and like so but i will still come back to them later i promise by the time we get 
to some other things but those ones that you need primarily now is the one no they are the one that i am talking about for now so uh that I, and i don't want to get a i don't want to get a mixed everything up so let's go one after the other so and uh, and that one i want to talk about now is the type two the type two that one is also essential you know you can see is there's no with t mark which is when you want to type something on the screen so when you click on that click on the screen anywhere on the screen where you want to type something so click on it then begin to type it's going to type and uh, say uh let's say editing training editing training class so that's it that's how to so use it to type you also use it to select maybe you want to select your you want to edit your what you have typed so it's more that i used to select you know you know why you click on the points where you want to select and drag across so you can see it now so you can use it to select and do so whatever you want to do with it so by the time we get to graphics also we will also be talking about that also so let's assume that maybe you have finished typing and you want to click on you want to pick what you have typed you want to select what you have typed please click on your don't forget to always click on your selection tool and uh, you know you can click and take it anywhere hey, you understand now so you can so it's your selection tool that does that so you know uh -huh. So something like that. So let's ask no. That's what that tool does for you. So it is called the type two. Don't worry. Basically, what I want you to put your mind in now is this selection to this track select forward, this razor to this razor to. So then later I will be talking about you know th there are several tools on the system. There are it's not only this one. There are, if you look at a small arrow here, it shows that there are some other two inside here. So I don't really want to open them up for now. If you look at all of these small, small arrow, it shows that there are some other two inside this only two, this one two. So I don't want to begin, you can't master everything now until you begin to use them. So it is when you start using them that you get familiarized with several of them. Are you getting it now so that's why i don't want to bore you with it but the primary one that i want you to stick your mind to is the selection tool which you use to select file select anything anything so and select on the on the timeline and your what your your razor tool which you use to cut which you use to cut you know and your what your track select forward which you use to select something and your what perhaps your type two just stick your mind to those tools for now i want this thing to be gradual to be gradual that's why i'm taking it like that now you will take note of something that for you to know maybe you have selected a two yeah the cursor will change you can see this cursor now it has changed when you place it on the timeline if you place it outside it will not change even if you have selected the wrong two but once you place it here it will change so this two now this mark is to represent the track select forward two which is this one it shows that i've selected it if you click on cursor a, a cut which is the result you can see it has changed when you bring it on the timeline if you click on the pen two you can see it has changed when you bring it on the time if you take it elsewhere it will not change you but when you bring it on the timeline it has changed if you pick click click on this uh, type two so when you take it on the because this is where you need to use it so if you break it here it will not change but this is where you need to use it so once you take it here it will change if you click on this one now you can see now it has changed it has changed so please take note if if you want to select this file as i under you want to select this file and you go and click on and your tool is like this and you want to select this file and I say, okay, let me select this one. And you now click on it. You not select it. You can see now it has sliced it. So just go back and click on your selection tool. So if you want to, if you want to select maybe just one file, this only 
cut and you go and click on these two and you click on it, you just like that select, you discover that it has selected everything. You begin to wonder why. So it is because you are on this selection too. Please just go back and pick the right tool that you will need to use. So let me uh you know and uh, uh, leave the tools here for now and let us just stick our mind to it. And let me come to this panel, which is your pro uh, your preview panel. Your preview panel. Now you can begin to see some icons on it also. You can see some icons on it also. I will not, I'm not also going to introduce you to everything. Uh, the reason for that is because editing is wide. This software is wide. So if I begin to bore your mind with it, it will be too cumbersome for you. So let's take it bit by bit. Some of these tools are for advanced effects. Some of them are for, you know, intermediate effects. So, but for our beginners level, we have what we call marking mark out. And because I'm talking about those ones that are primary and basic that at least you as a beginner should know. Now, and the one I will talk about is this mark. You can see they call it marking mark out. So I will come back to it, but it is just simply used to mark regions of your timeline. Maybe you want to mark from here to this point. So you use this tool to mark it. Let's say that you want to mark from here now. So bring this line here. Bring this line. So you want to mark from there. Click on mark in. So this tool is used to click on mark. It's used to mark in. I start the marking from there. If you click on it now, you will see it. So it has marked something for me now. Now, and you want to end the mark here. You want to end it here. You position your your cursor correctly then you click on mark out so it has selected this region for you so uh, when you want to do your exporting that's what you will do actually what you will use actually so it is used to to mark a certain region of the timeline so that's what that tool is meant to you can see now you can mark from there i just you know mark from here again so uh, it is used primarily to do to achieve some uh, uh, to, uh, to complete some task and this is the go to this go to is to you know, to move your cursor along you know instead of clicking on your cursor and dragging it like this so you can just maybe you want to go to the beginning of this clip beginning of it you, know, you can just click on it don't forget call me Don't make noise. So let's assume that uh, you want to, you know, go to the beginning of this uh, file, the beginning of this video. So just click on this state, you know, it gets it to the beginning of it. So that's what that tool is meant to do. And this one is just to, you know, move a frame backward. Maybe let's assume that you want to be moving gradually. Uh, you can see it now it will be moving gradually you will not notice it but it's actually moving you can see the time changing so before we are in seven me eight minutes now if you click on it now to go back to seven minutes you can see it now so it's moving gradually you know you have all of them on your on your on your phone too or on your dvd so and this is the play button play button to play your video so you can also use this shortcut you can see space which is your space bar on the on the keyboard so once you click on it it will begin to play so once you click on it and you also pre press the stop button so that is that for now for now for now you no know, just to be able to these are the things you'll be using so when you want to play anything just press it. so these are the buttons you'll be you know you get yourself familiar with at least as a beginner as a beginner as that is the you know, button you get familiar with now uh that is that let me talk now about uh, how to create how to create a project we have talked about tools then let's talk about uh, creating projects let me close this one and uh, open something new for you
Yes, I just uh, reopen my Premiere now so that it can start from the beginning. So that when you when you click on your home, this is the way it will bring it uh, for you so that uh, we can start from the beginning. So, and we want to learn how to create project. So it will bring out this dialog box for you. No, immediately you click on your Premiere, it will bring out this dialog box for you. So how do you create projects? So since you are starting off with a new project, you click on new, new projects. You can see it now. Once you click on new project, then another dialog box will pop up. Yes, this is a dialog box. So it's saying that you should title the project, the give it name. So let's assume that uh, it is a, a editing tutorial. Editing. Editing tutorial. Okay, that's the name. Then the next one is location. Choose where you will save that file. That's your project file. Choose where you, you will save it. So you click on browse to select your location. Don't make use of the default location as we don't you might not know where, where it is using as the default location. So scan through your system, look for where the footages of the file you want to use is located. So for me now, this I, on my desktop, I have the SMS Film School folder here. So you can just click on that folder and select and click on select folder. So I want that file since what I am doing is related to this file. It's inside. The, I want it to be saved there so that everything will look nice. So maybe your footage is inside this folder now. So just click this folder so that it will save the source file, the file of your editing. It will also save it there. So but for me, click on this and click on select folder. So it has selected that location for me. Now you can see it nice MS Film School. It has selected it then. Just look around this one. Just look around there. You know, on the first one we have what? Video. Video. And it is telling you that what should you display format? What type of display format should it give you? Time code. You need time code. You don't need frame and fit. I will tell you the difference between that now. In time code, that is when you look when I was introducing you to the timeline. I introduced you to how the timeline also has time marker. Time how you have time marker to know the length of your video. Okay, you are now in 53 minutes, 17, 17 minutes, one hour, two minutes, one hour, one uh, 30 minutes. So it is a time code that is simply telling you that what would you like to show? What would you like the software to show for you? What would you like it to show for you? So show time code for me. Show me the frames. Show me fit and frames of the of the file that I have on my timeline. So, but you don't just use the time code, and the audio sample just pick audio samples. Don't pick the milliseconds. Then here you can pick the HDV. Most times we when we work with HDV, but uh, you don't really need all this one also because you are not doing capturing. Capturing is when you are working with uh, all of this uh, linear editing. Uh, you know. Uh, uh, you know in the olden days where we make use of machine you know you make use of this analog uh, camera uh -huh. so that time you use make use of a capture you capture it on your editing timeline but this time around you don't you are not using that so you don't need it most uh, often like that so that's all you need so just you can set to keep it on hdv or, or dv don't mind just click on ok so it will create something like this for you uh, wait, it will create a uh, wait for it now. You can see now. You can see it now. It has created my project for me. You can see the title project title set. The location is in FM School. You no, know, my C, my my C drive, my user from SM Studio desktop, SMS Film School, the editing tutorial. Let me go and look for that. You know, my location here. So it is on my desktop. So I'm on the desktop now. Let me, let me look for SMS. This is SMS is to click on it so the, that source file should be there. And I did it so that you can see it here. You can see it now. So when I want to load on it now, I will just click on it here and it will load my project for me. So you can see it now. So you can see it. That is it. Now that's how to create projects. Now you are not done with it, you cannot start uh, editing like this there is another thing you have to do is to create sequence and i will tell you 
uh, uh, creating project is not the same as creating sequence creating project simply means that you want to create it 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 appears like a uh it appears like a acquiring a large parcel of land a large parcel of land or acquiring a three bedroom flats acquiring a three bedroom flat yes let me use that as an example that's what we mean by creating project let's assume when you acquire your three bedroom flat or four bedroom flat when you now get in there you begin to now sectionalize you say give me one small room you know you use one room maybe for your bedroom one room for visitors uh, room one room for sitting room one room for office one room for you begin to you know cut it like that so when you create a project uh, create a project like this it appears as if you have acquired a big building then you now begin to sectionalize the room and that is what we mean by sequence creating small small platforms you know where you can edit do your editing and then create another one now let's try to create one now when you want to create just come to sequence here create come here create come to file here rather file then go on a new go on new then select sequence you are not selecting project because this time around you are not creating project you are creating sequence. we just created project so but need this time i want to create on what sequence or you can simply press ctrl n instead of coming all of this long so you know something like that just click on it so it will bring out something like this or by simply clicking on what ctrl n ctrl n so it will also bring the bring out the same thing for me so now from this control n let's assume that uh, you can see from this dialog box giving you the available presets these presets are to define your camera format these presets are to define your camera format so the the, the five tower format rather that you want to use in editing for most of us that are using maybe digital SLR camera, you can see it now. All of those uh, Canon 60D, Canon 70D, Nikon, and all the like. So you can check online to check for this to know the SLR cameras. You know, uh, you know, you begin to see them. Of course, let me even show you example of it. We have these are examples of a uh, 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 digital SLR cameras. So you can see it now on the screen. This are SLR camera. So let's assume that the movie was shot with something like that. No, any of this camera, or you have red camera. All of these ones, you can see red camera now. You can see, uh, you know, uh, some other big cameras. All everything are there. So you pick based on the recording format of that camera. So maybe your camera is recording AVC HD. There are some cameras that are called CVC HD, there are some cameras that are called SD card. So you can check how do you know what the file type of that camera. You can simply come here. You can come here. Let's let's assume that I open a file. Now just place your cursor on that camera. You can see now the the item type is what? MOV file. So this type is mov this camera records mov so you don't need to go go and ask the cameraman that you know shot the movie all you need to do is that just place your uh, cursor on the camera or the file and look for the for the file type which is the mov file so you come here again you come here again then try to look for the mov file of course now we don't have mov file here but the camera that records MOV basically they are Canon cameras which are digital cameras digital SLR so one of the, one of the cameras that I know that it is SLR that records that that file type so all you just need to do is that you can select digital SLR and uh, click on it so you know you have to click don't just click on it and say okay in fact if you don't if you even click on it it will not give you okay you no know, but uh, it's not select okay for you to click so then the next thing is that you want to sh to choose the resolution of the file you want to use in editing 
let's come and check here again let's check for that file let's check check uh the file property you can right click on it and go to property and go to details so now the frame width which is the resolution is the 1920 by 1080 which means that we are working on the 1080 file so come here and you can see 1080 now so you just click on 1080 so say that is the file you are using to work so you can as well also go ahead you can see now digital slr so you can pick 1080 so basically what we use is in ed no in editing is a 1080 24p i will come back to all of that i'll come back to all of that when we are talking about the uh, uh, you know uh, uh, exporting understanding exporting and the uh, file format you understand the meaning of 1080 and the 24p so baby i think maybe that file should be able we should also have it there yes this one now is called frame rate is 25 frames per seconds so that's what you also that's what they're asking you here you see 1080 at what 24 frame per seconds and that one is 25 frame per second 1080 at 25 frame per second so if you select this one now come and see the information the information is that you have selected what um 1080 file 1080 file 1920 by 1080 you can see from here can see it's 1920 by 10 it 1920 and 1080 so so it says you are select 1920 1080 on the height and the on the vertical height on the vertical length so then the frame rate we selected 25 frames per seconds that's what we checked here 25 frames per second so you can see it now 25 frame per seconds that's what we picked so once you are done with that then you can name your sequence you see the se sequence is scene one maybe you want to edit scene one you edit the sequence in scene one then you click on ok it's editing mode the guitar slr so then you can click on ok so now it will now create good timeline for you where you can work so you can see now it has labeled it scene one so this is where you will now have your timeline where you can work then you begin to do what you begin to import your files so you begin to import your files so now yes we now have a timeline now so that is that now let me do some cutting so we have done your editing too now let's assume that i want to now do maybe i i finished editing scene one on this sequence this is a sequence now so anything you do now is just a sequence now i want to start say uh, scene two let's say this is the scene two the scene two footages everything there is the scene two footages now, now import scene two also and now now you now want to edit scene two here you know and you know you start editing it editing it editing it like that and same three you edit it bring it again you edit it same four you bring it again and you are let's assume that you have like 100 scenes imagine how long and how rowdy how clean this place on our range this place will look like so the best thing is that let's assume that you have edited scene one you can start to create another sequence for scene two which is another room just like i the example i made you mention of no, like acquiring a big room and sectionalizing it he said this room is for scene one that's my room one is for scene one then create another sequence by simply click uh, 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 pressing control n then of course you can also choose that same file format you can choose that same file format if you are still working on the same file then type scene two into you can see now so it appears it has given me another platform another panel to be working with so now if you want to assess that one that you just finished this is it up here scene one click on it now you can see it now 
so it will give me another page again as if a new blank page will be working on then you can edit your scene to here you can edit your scene to here you know and do your cutting again begin to cut and all the likes so you can create as many sequences as you want as many sequences as you want you can create them so to learning number to learning number you are not you are not limited so that's how you begin to create it so you can finish here do your create and create you know do your editing and the like so that's how to create sequence now one thing i want to talk about you know which uh, is a probably the last thing now on creating sequence is that uh, uh let's assume that you when you are trying to create that sequence you you don't know your five formats actually you don't know your five formats so you don't know how to check for the format and mistakenly you picked you go and pick a, a wrong format maybe you pick the wrong format you don't know you just pick something that you know anything you see now by the time you import the project it will ask you a question let's see yes now by the time you import the project you can see now i said this clip does not match the sequence setting change sequence setting to match clip setting that is is telling you that sequence you created does not have the same setting as the clip you imported and you know you must be using the same clip setting and the sequence setting must be the same with it so in that case it will say it will ask you that do you want to keep the same setting you have you you used uh you created rather i mean the sequence setting you created do you want to keep that setting you still want to make use of it or you want to change your sequence setting to match the file you just you know brought in do you get it do you want to create do you want to keep that setting and say leave it like that that's where i want it put my file if you click on it it will keep it to put your file on it but we have problem later so but don't let me talk about the problem for now it will not because you will not have good platform to be working with it will not give you good frame so but you have to click on change my setting for me that is to match it will not the, the software will automatically change that setting to match your clip setting that is the file you imported will now be the same thing with the, the setting the sequence setting you know that you are using so once you click it it will automatically match it for you so it will automatically match it for you so if you go and check your sequence setting here you discover that it will be giving me the setting of this file you can see now this is the 1920 1080 25 frame all of those things that we selected the other time so it has automatically adjusted it for me if you don't know let me maybe i should do it again now look at what we picked we picked 720 let me even now look at our sequence setting i just created another sequence now look at the sequence setting we pick dv power we pick 25 frame so you can see it now that's the sequence setting but let me try to bring a file in just like the way i did so that you will know that it's adjust it for you automatically let me tell it to let me say keep my existing file now look at what it has done to me look at what the way it's showing it now because the sequence does not match you can see it now so this is not how it should look like you can see it now it's not how it should look like because this file the setting of this file is different from this template that you are using this sequence you are using so that they do not match but by the time you create one you know look at the setting we have just created again you no know, dv power 12 25 fpf uh -huh. yes now bring a file again now tell it to change sequence setting you can see now it will give me good day something now so you can see now it's giving me something nice now if you go and check my sequence setting it has changed that sequence setting here you see now it has changed it to custom that is the one i did myself then it has changed it to 25 frame 1080 it's not 720 before that one was 720 but this one it has changed it to, to the property of that file 
it, it has changed it to match this property so that's how you do so even when you don't know the property of your file the system the software will still help you to adjust your sequence to it so that's how to create sequence you know uh, uh in your edit you can see how many sequences i have created now but i did not name them so please remember to always name your own sequence and the uh, the last thing i'll be talking about is that since you have you don't forget you have created what editing tutorial as a title then the next one is to to save your project so the next one is to save your project so once you save it then you are good to go so you can just save your project by clicking on uh, pressing ctrl s or come to file and click on save so you have saved your project so it is saved to what to this location and it is on this thing. so if you click on it again let's close this one and click on it again so don't forget your location don't forget your location your location is sms stream school then editing tutorial just click on it don't mind me I because I have two premiere so it will ask me the one I want to use so please use 2018 for me now so once you click on that it will load it for you to load your project for you so you no know, that is a uh, how to create projects you know and how to to create a sequence so you can see now it is not giving me another dialog box again because it's not a new project so i'm only opening a project that i am i was working on before so to give me that sequence that uh, project again so you can see it now so you can see it now you can see my sequence my scene one and all the likes now uh uh i think i wanted to make mention of something so now don't forget also let's assume that you want to open a project you are working like this and you want to open the project one you no know, maybe a project you are done with working with this project you there is another project a saved project you have you have saved before so click and you want to open it click on pro a file and click on open project click on open project so one of the projects you have been working on so maybe this is a project you have been working on before or search for the project wherever you store it you saved it so if this is a project click on it and click on open so it will also open that project for you it will open that uh, project for you so that is that about uh, you know uh uh today uh we have learned about uh how to make use of some of our tools on the two panels here you know some of the basic tools that we need to use as a beginner then how to create projects and then how to also create sequence please drop all your questions and then let's meet on the on our whatsapp platform where you will be i be able to ask for your question ask your questions and uh, please uh before you go don't forget subscribe to our page if you have not done uh, to our channel if you have not done that click on the uh, subscribe button so that uh, you can get notified of uh, our tutorial whenever it comes online then also invite more people to subscribe to this channel thank you very much my name is still fashion from sms online film school see you in our on our whatsapp uh, platform and if you want to join sms film school just a uh, you know uh, uh pri chat with me on the zero eight zero six eight three one eight three nine seven zero eight zero six eight three one eight three nine seven chat with me or drop a comment on this video in uh, on our, our youtube channel i will definitely meet uh, find it there then you can join our online film school thank you very much we we'll meet uh, in the class thank you very much uh, once again uh thanks for watching our video or this why i hope you enjoyed the tutorial uh you can also join us next time that will be coming with another wonderful edition of this training and i uh, want to remind you please uh, hit the subscribe button and also 
uh, you can uh, hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we bring in or any of our tutorial or some of the videos that uh, we have so that you can keep following us thank you very much once again my name is fashanu oluwaleke from sms online film school bye